Hi friend, here is a problem of probability. Uh, let me read the question. In a cricket match, a batsman, a batswoman, sorry, a batswoman hits a boundary six times out of thirty balls. C plays. Find the probability that she did not hit a boundary, right? And I think you know what is exactly the cricket match. Uh, <coughs> there was a match happening, right? And a batswoman. Let me draw the figure. Uh, I hope you'll understand, right? She's a batswoman, right? Uh, okay don't laugh with the figure right she's uh, holding a bat right this is her bat right suppose she's holding the bat and it's too much bigger bat <laughs> though and here is a baller right with a ball right uh, this is the ball right and this is the bat right and the bats woman will hit this ball when when he will throw this right uh, sorry when the baller will throw this ball right she will hit this ball and the baller throws 30 times right this baller throws the ball 30 times out of this 30 times you know what happened exactly six times six times C hits the boundary right boundary means uh, in actually uh, it is played in the uh, a circular type of ground right cricket is played in the circular type of ground and when uh, when the baller throw it right here then C hit this ball and touch the uh, this boundary right and she crossed or it may uh, she may has crossed or just touched right it may be four or six whatever it happened so it happened six times right six times three C uh, C uh, means this batsman batswoman touch this boundary right hit this boundary and rest of this 24 times she doesn't right rest of this 24 times she doesn't so now what do we have to find out it is asking that uh, the question is asking here find the probability that C did not hit a boundary right and we know the probability formula right uh, probability probability of hitting anything or probability of anything is the total favorable events to the total events right uh, the ratio of the favorable events to the total events so here the probability of not hitting right probability of not hitting probability of not hitting the boundary is number of times C doesn't hit, right? Number of times C doesn't patch women, right? C means here C doesn't, uh, C didn't simply say C didn't hit the boundary, hit the boundary, uh, hit the boundary to the total balls, to the total balls, total balls thrown. The guy, how many times he thrown here the ball? The total balls thrown, right? So, uh, here number of times she did not hit the boundary she did not hit the boundary right she did not hit this boundary this whole boundary how many times 24 times she did not hit the boundary so 24 times and the total balls thrown the guy throw 30 times the ball right here is the return 30 times uh, he throw this ball so divided by 30 so now if you want to cut this you can cut right simply so 6 4s are right and 6 5s are so 4 upon 5 is the probability right and uh, if he wants to go in the decimal form then it will be 0 0.8 right and if you want to go in the percent form it will be 80 percent right so the probability uh, of not hitting the boundary is 80 percent right and uh, it's not looking like exactly the 80 it's 80 okay 80 percent so uh, probability of the bad swimmer not hitting the boundaries is 80 percent and hitting the boundary of course 100 minus 80 that is 20 percent right because we know the probability total sum of the all probabilities always and always one or if you want to write in 100 percent then it will be 100 percent right so like this we have to solve this problem uh, and uh, suppose f uh, friend uh, if the question was asking what is the probability that, uh, probability of hitting the boundary then what we will be doing here number of times C hit the boundary and the total balls thrown so he so how many times he hit the ball six times and how many times uh, the ball was thrown 30 times so it will be six five it means overall one upon five 
so 1 upon 5 is again 20 percent so 20 percent or 1 upon 5 or 0 0.2 0.02 uh, sorry 0 0.2 only right 0 0.2 whatever you can say these all are the probability for hitting the boundary right and this is for not hitting the boundary i hope you understand this problem in next our problem we'll be doing a little bit different of the probability problem right so we'll be meeting in the next video bye bye